Mr. High Llama. And we're back. And this is more hexed. I installed a couple of other mods. We'll see if they actually kick in. I, I'll point them out if they ever kick in. I don't know what they're going to do. But this is just still, it's still hexed. And we're still having fun. I don't remember where we left off. I think we're going to start doing some stuff with these benches and stuff. Actually, I've been doing stuff with them. I made this here broadsword. It's kind of cool. But I, I'm going to show you from the bottom up. I guess how how I've made it work. Uh, also, I've done some wandering around in the wilds and found um, meteors and meteor strikes. And apparently you can get super rare materials from there also. I don't know where they ended up. Here it is. Meteor chips from harvesting meteorite. And I actually was able to make a sword out of those also, which is actually better than the sword I made with... Um, using the what is this what is this called this uh, stuff. what mod is this from that is tinker's construct tinker's construct that's right which is part of the hex mod system um uh, music disc very nice where did i put that sword here it is so meteorite sword it's actually the most powerful sword i have uh, but anyway i don't i don't really need to even worry about that right now so we made a bunch of grout, I think is where we left off. Where's my books? They're all here. Let me go grab my books. Did you already put the black ones up there? Yes, sir. Uh, <coughs> Mrs. High Lama's taking it upon herself to make sure our house is nice and cozy. So we're pretty well off. We're still living in the same place. We've dug it out a little bit and made a little farm so that we can survive and eat. We've got plenty of food now. And so we're, we're doing pretty good. She even tamed a chocobo. Sorry we didn't record all that, but we'll, we'll get to it. We'll get to it because we're still trying to learn, and I try to not record my learning processes because they can be embarrassing. They're kind of slow sometimes. So let's see. Put our books in here because this is where we're mainly going to use them. Um, so I went ahead and got some seared brick and other seared stuff. We've got a crafting table here, so we'll be able to make the things that we need. So let's get cracking on Tinker's Contract. Got some buckets of lava just in case we need them. Um, materials and you. Is that what I need? No. Materials and you. Mighty smelting, I think, is what we want. So I'm going to grab that. And I'll grab this just in case also. But I think they both have what I need them. Smelting. Introduction, casting, construction, alloys, and recipes. All right, a lot of words here. Big point is ores naturally have more material than processed versions, such as ingots. The smeltery will preserve the full value of the ores, roughly twice as much as a regular furnace would provide. Mixing two metals in the smeltery may result in an alloy. The process happens automatically. If you need more space to process metal, add more layers. Okay? Cool beans? Mm-hmm. I've only... Uh, tinkered around with this a little bit and made a temporary one but uh, the idea is that you use these seared bricks to make a lava tank which holds your lava which is what I guess you're using to melt all your ore uh, a controller which is what you use to put new ore in and these bricks they're just safe from burning that's why we use them uh, any combination of tin sear bricks, lava tanks, or drains. Lava drains are, are drains. You allow the uh, molten ore to drain out. The faucet pours it into a casting table or a uh, casting bin. So we... Structure must be 5x5 five five shell due to the amount of heat lava gives off. There are no vertical instructions to the size of the vein. Okay. So basically, it has to be three by three on the bottom at least. I don't know if it can be bigger or smaller. I haven't really tried. We can try that right now if you want. But since you can't really communicate with me, I guess we'll just do the three by three. So we'll do that. It's worked for me. Um, so we're going to build something that's going to look kind of like this. Probably not entirely, but maybe mostly like that. Okay, 
And I don't need this anymore. So bronze, we're going to need copper and tin. We haven't found any of that. Aluminum, we haven't found any of that. Cobalt, haven't found any, any, of, any of these things we haven't really found. The only thing we've got is iron right now. Here's how we made the grout. We got some sand, some gravel, and some clay. Made the grout, put the grout in a furnace, and furnaced it. All right, so let's... We're going to need a controller. We're going to need some drains, a lava tank for sure. So just one lava tank probably, and one controller. Seared glass or seared window. I don't know. We can do either one of those. Uh, seared faucets. We'll need some of those. Casting tables. We'll need some of those. Casting basins. We'll need some of those. All right. So let's get to it. First things first, we'll build this one piece at a time so as to make fewer screw-ups. Um, hmm, hmm. My wife cleared out a nice little area for us to do our smelting in, which is nice. Of course, you can always make more than one of these and, you know, s just do one metal in each or whatever or get an assembly line going. Kind of cool, but... Uh, they do take up some space. So for a platform, we'll do, let's see, it's going to be three. So I think she's kind of got it planned out for us already. So like that. And so that's going to be the platform. There will be walls around it to make sure that the gooey goodness doesn't come out. Right? So, that's good. I don't know how I want to make this look, but... Um, so I'll do this corner. This corner there so I can place the other things. Uh, basically, I'm going to have the entire bottom layer here just be drains so that we can just pour off stuff. So I'm going to need to make a bunch of drains. bunch of drains. How do we make drains? Does anybody remember? The uh, spigot faucet? No, just the drain. Oh. Drain, drain. Okay, got it. Got it. Brilliant. One, two, three. Oh, I thought this Four, was supposed to be in the five, floor. Five, six, seven. Okay, we're not going to have enough of these seared bricks, I don't think. So we'll take another stack. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, three, seven, eight, nine. I don't know. There's supposedly another mechanic for how placing blocks on the crafting table works now as part of this game, but... I haven't figured it out. I've seen some videos and people just do crazy stuff and they can just hit the plus or the minus key and the number goes up or down. I don't have that mod. If you know that mod, let me know and I will get it. Okay, so drain. Drain. Oh, 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 I'm being a foo already, man. Our controller goes up front. Okay. Try that again. Drain. Drain, 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 take me away. No. Okay, drains. So the whole bottom is going to be drained so we can pour it off really quickly. Okay. Uh, now we want some spigots. Those are pretty easy to make. They don't make them in there, though. It's like making a bucket. So, nine of these. Again. Okay, that's good. So, plop these. I've seen some videos. Mine's a little bit... What? Stop it, man. Oh, I can't place them. Your fence thing is too close. Forgive I need one me. One more deeper fence. You'll have all deepers. I need 
one more deeper. Fence. There you go. There we go. Sorry about like that. This corner. This corner is wrong. <laughs> then I shall fix it. Thank you. <laughs> okay. Now we need a controller. Which I guess everything is made out of these bricks. Let's make a controller. How do I make it? That's a basin, I believe. That's a casting table. There we go. That's the controller. We want that. Grab you. It's getting dark. So we got a controller there. Look, this is cool. I like that. And I need a lava tank, which requires some glass. I think just one glass. That's cool. Uh, I think it's some like. No. 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 Yes, lava tank. Got it. Okay, and the lava tank. It's getting dark. It's getting dark. Let's go to bed. We'll come back. Let's go, go, go. Go to bed. The mobs are so scary in this game. Oh my goodness, you don't even know. I rest. I rest. Me too. Okay, good. Very good. Get back to work. Get back <coughs> to work. Back to work. I love this little area she made us. So our lava's gonna go in there. Stuff goes in there. Oh, this is our controller. It's not active yet because it's not closed off. It's gotta be closed off. <sighs> to close it off, what do I want to make? Oops. Um, I like to have a way that I can see how much goo is in there. That's always good. Um, blah, 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 blah. So there's the seared glass. Or there's seared window. Uh, let's, do, let's just do the seared glass, I think. Take that, take you. I think it's... That, I'll do... We'll just start with one, but I know we're going to build up. But I want you to see that it works with just one layer. And so one, two, three, four. There we go. Four seared glasses. And as soon as I place this block, this fire should light, meaning that the area is complete. Oops. And lo and behold, I'm wrong. <coughs> Why I'm wrong. What's wrong? It doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that. <laughs> uh, well, I, um, I don't know. You put the lava I have in? done this before, so. No sense. You just tear it all down and then start again. Huh. Do 
want me to help you or no? Ridiculous. I have no idea. All right, hold on. Oh my gosh. Okay. So. It turns out. I don't know how this happened. But all of our seared bricks. Magically transformed. Yeah, we're magically transformed into basalt bricks, which I can, I believe, show you these cool search features. What is that? Basalt? Okay, yeah, this. Basalt cobblestone. Okay, see, it was all turned to this. Basalt lends itself well to smooth surfaces. What the heck? How did I get that? I don't know. But for some reason, it replaced my seared bricks. I don't know how it happened. Um, but it did. But now we move on. This is what we've got left. Of course, everything that we made. Uh, but, yeah, I'm down to 21 seared bricks. That's all I got. So, but that, that's more than enough. Um, so, the wife gave me a cool design idea. So, I think we'll just do it. I liked my idea, but... I didn't win. <laughs> I didn't win the competition, so there you go. Um, dang it. I thought I was collecting some of this red stuff, but I guess not. All right. Um, here we go. Blah da 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 blah da. All right, and in the front, I also want it to be this brick because otherwise it looks funny. Some of the parts are see-through. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Uh, this, these are all going to actually be replaced. I don't even know why I'm bothered placing them. This is going to be the drain. So I guess it's going to be on ground level instead of being up one level, which I'm not actually fond of, but I think it'll work nonetheless. Um, Wait. Yeah. What? No. Alright, but I swear it's going to work this time. Oh my gosh! Just <laughs> cooperate! What are you doing over there? I don't know. I don't know. Blam, blam, blam. Blam, blam, blam. Alright, and. Lava tank, blam! Glass. And where's my controller? Blam! Done. It works. See, it came on like a boss. Like a boss. <laughs> all right, let's plug all these guys back up. Now it's gonna pour all over the ground. Which, like as I said, I'm not really keen on. Why did you do it this way then? Well. Because you liked it. Thank you. I'll do everything just to please you. <laughs> do you want to test to see if it kills me if I stay inside? Alright. So let me place... Alright, on these sides, I'm going to do these tables. Um like that. Well, I, I think we'll just pick them up off the ground. You don't even need... You don't want that? It'll okay. just be like that. Yeah. Um, and in the back, we'll have the basins. And you guys, this, this is going to be so cool. You're, you're just going to love it. You're going to love this. Yeah. Good. Is it all red? Okay. I got nine left. So I could... Make it another level higher, right? I don't no, I'd know. Need, I'd need 12. I'd need 12 to make it higher. Well, there's four more in here. So basically, you see there's three by three grid in the inside. You're going to add the ore into here and see three by three grid. Uh, for every level that you build it up, you can do, you know, nine more. Three times three is nine, obviously. So, if I build it up two levels, I can do a stack of 12. Three levels, I can do what is that, 21 times, times three, something like that. 
You said you had nine? Uh, I don't, I, yeah, I've only got nine. All right, well, I have four. Okay, well, here we go. We can at least do it two levels, and remember, one of them you don't need to do because it's my measuring gauge. Yeah. Oh, oh. Design. Oh, okay. I like. Okay, so there's two left. All right, All right, we see inside, so there's the drains at the bottom. Let's do it. And, you, and, and this little glass shows you how high the, the slag is, I guess. Okie dokie. All right. Should I go get more lava? Uh, no, four should be more than enough. Okay. Um, let me just get my tools back in order. Like it, kind of like that. Um, 36 iron ore. We're only going to be able to get nine times two in. So, do that. And then it. Oh, there's no lava yet. Hold on. Um, filler on up. I think it'll hold. A lava tank holds four lava buckets. Yeah. You can see. Now the ore is inside. And there's my lava. I got a lava gauge here. It, it's kind of glitchy a little bit. You can tell here it's full, but here it doesn't say that it's full. But as long as there's lava in there, this machine will work. All right. Got tons of buckets. So there you go. Um, I have made some more seared brick back at the house. So let me go grab that. We can go ahead and make it another layer higher. Because I like being able to get... I mean, like my goal, of course, is to be able to get a stack in there. But I think having multiple smelters is probably also a good idea. But let's see. Good. Even. Evens. I'll be able to do one more layer. Yeah, it just fills it up and it's going to melt it once this charging bar, I guess the temperature of it, once it gets all the way to the top, it all melts and fills up the smeltery and then you can do fun stuff with it. Fun stuff. Ooh, boy. Where's my dirt? I got no dirt. We'll use gravel. Uh, I need one window. Like this. Okay. I, I have no idea how it got turned into basalt. That just bothers me. Because I'm worried that other things in this game are going to just change what they are. Hey, your diamond sword is now made of fish. It's like a dream come true. I, I know. It's not a dream come true, though. All right. There it is. Ooh. There it is. You got to see it. All right. So now we will pour it into the basins. Uh, iron, unfortunately, cannot be poured into a casting table. It can only be poured into a basin unless you have a cast in the table. We don't have any casts. Actually, I do. Should I just go get them? I should just go get them. Yeah, you should. Okay. I'm going to just go grab them. So I got some of them at my other machine. I don't need this machine anymore now that we've made one up there. And so I'll probably tear this down. We can make another one for doing other things. Like, But here's some casts. Oh, there we go. Right click to take it out. Okay. It still has some molten iron in it. Still got some. Oh! No. Give me that back. All right. Um, there's some more blank casts. These are the casts for making a sword. So they'll probably be nice to keep around. Aluminum. I'm just going to take all this stuff up there. So let me go grab the... Well, I should probably take this chest with me too then, right? Sure. I thought I had an axe, but I guess I accidentally got rid of it. Accidentally. Ha, ha. Oh, oh. Uh, yeah, buddy. <laughs> That's the kind of stuff you get to look forward to from a Mr. High Lama video. It's called Comedy That Kills. Alright, so these ones, the golden ones, they are casting. Not They're not the same as the ones you use on this board. You use the wooden ones there. But these are for casting. So 
So I'm gonna take them up to our casting area. Bum, 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 bum. And I'm gonna place this. Oh, uh, oh you already made one. Mm-hmm. Dang it, man, you're quick. Mm-hmm. All right. Get that up there, throw that in there for the time being. There's my ax, I want you back, get rid of you. Um, throw you in there, throw you in there, you in there, you in there. Okay. Uh, so we say on one side we, we, we go through a lot of swords, so we'll take a sword blade. Um, um, Pickaxe is another thing you probably use a lot of, right? And both of them require a tool rod. And one requires a... Guard. You can either use the wide guard for the sword, or you can use the um, crossbar or a hand guard. I like the hand guard. Uh, and this needs a tool binding. I got six slots, so there's one more thing I can make. So I might as well do the ingot cast, right? All right, so we'll take these casts and basically you just put them in. So for the pickaxe, we need the guard. We need the pick. And we'll say we That's want... That's not the pickaxe. The ingot. What? That's... Oh, is that the binding for the... Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, oh, and over here, we're going to do the guard and the rod and the blade. All right, so now we got our molten iron in there. What we can do is either pour it into one of these bins. You just right-click on the spigot here, and it fills it up. My daughter's over here just screaming her head off for no reason. Don't know why. And fill it up. It's pretty quick. You don't have to wait very long. And it'll dry. And boop, you got a block of iron in your inventory. Block, just like that. And you do get, using this, instead of smelting it in an oven like this, you get it about double. So for every single ore, you get two iron ingots, basically. So it's certainly well worth your time, especially when dealing with some of the rare, uh, the rare minerals and ores. Let me throw some more iron in there. So it's still in there. So I'll melt the rest of that iron down just to add to it. Throw that up there. Throw that up there. Don't need. It. Also, so we want to make uh, this iron sword. You make a blade. And it'll pour it into there. You need the pole, and you need the bar. And there's no waste. Like, before, you would have some waste where there would be, like, a shard of iron or whatever. Now you just right-click on it. Bloop, bloop, bloop. And you just, you got what you wanted. You've made all the tools for a sword. You take it over to your... This isn't a tool bench. This is a stencil table. Probably should have a tool bench over here. I didn't make one. Um, I didn't think that far ahead. I know you didn't. <laughs> Wacky with some Ouch. Milk. That hurts. Okay, you take it over to your tool bench. Bloop. And you say, oh, I'm going to make a sword. You stick your pole here. You got your iron handguard there. And you got your iron sword blade there. And you got a long sword. Reinforced uh, attack three hearts. There's your blah, 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 blah. Sword made. We can also modify the sword using the anvil. Uh, I would recommend at least one diamond and at least uh, one emerald. Uh, you can add other things to it if you if it pleases you. Uh, the blue stuff gives you luck. The redstone gives you speed. It's a sword. So really, um, uh, quartz would be best. I don't have any, though, so I can't really do that. But you place your sword there, put your diamond, adds 500 to your durability. So it goes from 325 to 825. 
So that's much more durable. And you can see here it says it still has two modifiers remaining. So after I've done the diamond, I can take this emerald and add 50% to my durability. So it's not, yeah. I mean, it adds an extra 50%. So half, so 400 and oh, something. It'll add that to it. And there you go. And it gives it a cool little look, too. All right. So there you go. I can do a lunge attack. Lunge attack. I don't know how this works. That's pretty cool. So you can see it's stats here. Still, it, I mean, it, if I put quartz on it, it would increase the um, the number of hearts of damage it does. This is the sword I've been using. It's got moss on it, which causes it to heal itself, auto repair. But it's pretty much the same. Okay. That's that. I'll chop here.